Okay, a very good morning and a very warm welcome to episode 14 of Golden Moments. Um, today we are coming from the school library here at Golden Hillock School um, because although we're going to be talking about girls' uh, sporting activities, um, I think it's quite useful for them to be able to reflect back in quite an academic environment. So um, in a moment I'm going to hand over to Miss Rigby um, who's going to talk a little bit about girls' swimming and the very successful series of events that we've run during the course of this term. As part of the Year 7 curriculum, um, all students are expected to access a fair variety of different sports and activities. Um, at Golden Hook School we provide the opportunity for our lovely Year 7 girls to go off to Aston University and take part in a series of seven weeks worth of swimming lessons. They arrive there by coach um, and they get there, every student takes part and I've got some girls here today who will explain to you what they've been doing, what they've been Now we're going to hear from some of the Year 7 students who have been looking at swimming over the last few weeks. Okay, so Aisha, can you tell us what you've been learning about in swimming please? In swimming we've been swimming in the shallow end and then we swam in the deep end with needles and floats and it was really fun because I got to build my confidence by swimming in the deep end. And some students are scared when they go to swimming, but we expect all students to take part. Safia here was one of our students that was a little less confident. Safia, can you tell us about how you felt when you first started swimming? When I started swimming, I felt scared, but when I got in the water, um, it was fun. Did you feel that you've achieved something? When we go swimming, the most important thing that students need to learn is how to be safe around the swimming pool. Zainab and Razia are going to talk to you now about pool when safety. When you're swimming in the pool, you should always have an adult or um, a lifeguard with you unless you drown. And in pool, you should not run because if, some, if you run, uh, you can slip in the uh, water. Um, and you should not eat, drink. Um. You should always wear the correct uniform on because if you wear heavy clothes on in the swimming pool you can drown or you might like, I don't know, you know you can drown. What did the lifeguard do when we first arrived at the swimming pool? She showed us how uh, had the, what's it called, the alarm. If, if she pressed the button then we had to get out of the pool and listen to it. Thank to build water that. confidence, we used Changed for Life's programme and we looked at different games and different activities that we could do. Sonia's just going to talk to you now about some of the activities that we, t we completed in the class. Um, we've been playing um, silly hats, kick and draw and free play. What did you do for silly hats? We had to balance uh, the floor on our heads and walk across, uh, walk across the swimming pool. Okay, and what did you do during free play? Uh, we dived and uh, got some bricks and toys and uh, they were really heavy, but we had to dive and give it to our classmates. Okay, what was your favorite game? My favorite game was uh, free play. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, we've got Aisha here. Aisha was one of our students that improved the most uh, throughout the course of swimming. When she came to the swimming pool, she wasn't able to swim, and by the end of it, she managed to swim the length all on her own without a float. Aisha, can you tell us uh, what level you were at when you first came to the swimming pool? Um, 2A. Okay, and why was that? Um, I, I used a float, and I was scared to um, balance on the water. Okay, and what were, you, what were you able to do by the end of the, the course? Um, have confidence in myself and um, follow your instructions. Okay. What level did you in achieve by the end of swimming? Three. Okay. And why was that? Um, what were you able to do? Keep my feet off the ground. Okay. And how far did you swim? A length. A length and four. Thank you, Aisha. Okay. We've got Sundas here who's going to talk to you a little bit about the equipment and the resources that we use whilst we were swimming. Cinders, can you tell us what, what equipment you need to take with you to the swimming pool? For swimming, you have to take a, a towel, your swimming costume, and it could be any swimming costume as long as it's like, like coverable. Okay, did you need anything else? You needed, um, uh, if you could like, you could have bring a, a goggle and a swimming hat, but the Aston. Uh, swimming pool provide you with a swimming cap. Okay, did we use any other equipment from the swimming pool whilst we were there? 
uh, we use uh, we use uh, like noodles. What's a noodle? It's it helps you like uh, flow inside the water and to, like it helps you like like swim backwards and forwards. Thank, hey, thank you very much indeed to Miss Rigby and the Year 7 Girls Swimming. Um, obviously, we've heard some really interesting, exciting experiences that these ladies have had in the swimming pool. Uh, and who's to say that we might not have around the table the next Rebecca Adlington um, and that we might not see that person appearing at the Tokyo Olympics. Um, so it's obviously been an opportunity to hear about this this morning. Next week we'll have our special bumper seasonal Christmas uh, golden moments um, and we'll be hearing about some of the fantastic things that have been taking place over the course of the term. But for the moment it's very goodbye and thank you very much indeed once again to Year 7 Girls and Miss Rigby um, for this week's golden moments.